you remember checking in, right? Mass chaos, hysteria, nerves, tears from the parents. Uh, this is uh, yeah, pre-mass chaos. We're here at Alberta's Magnus College. We're kind of merging Foodie Friday with our school squad week. And so we decided to come to Alberta's Magnus. It, it's an institution down here in New Haven. We wanted to come to the shoreline. And look, here's mass chaos. Well, all right, maybe not. <laughs> but they've got uh, about 200 students are going to be uh, checking in, uh, 200 good part, good chunk of the class of 26. And what they're going to do is they're going to come through here at the campus center, the Hubert Campus Center, and they're going to get what's, uh, what they're calling a passport. And they've got to check in the right way with the health forms, with the residential life. They get their pens, they get your lanyards, they get all the, all the swag. You know how that's work. And then they come, swing around, Freddie, would you please? They come to this beautiful place, uh, which is, they just, they actually opened this up just right before the pandemic started. So it's, it's still freshly new. This is Andrea Kovacs. We say good morning good to you, morning, Vice President of what? Vice President for Enrollment Management and Marketing here at Alberta Spagnus College. I'm glad you said that because I wouldn't have it's remembered awful, it. Right? Yeah, that's, I don't know how you put that on a business card. Good really morning know. to you. Good morning. Uh, nerves, excitement, tears, what, what do we get today? All of the above. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to see here today. Um, that's why we need so badly to feed them well mm -hmm. because carbohydrates make you calm. And that's what we're trying to do, not just for the students, but for mom and dad they as well. All, they also put my tire around my uh, ways, but you know. know. So take a look, Freddie. So they've got, and this is the finishing product. If they get, if they get through the passport, they've got their first three credits. No, that's that's not true. That's but not they true. do get uh, a little continental breakfast waiting. And now we're going to find out more th throughout the morning, but what's it like feeding uh, hungry freshmen and hungry students for that matter throughout a year, three squares a day? It is a lot of work and we have an excellent uh, director of our food services, Kat Heidel, mm -hmm. and we work with Chartwells. They do a great job. And this is very different than when you and I went to college uh -huh. and they fed us, you know, pastries and bread and That's pasta. Right. Um, now we can accommodate any number of food allergies uh -huh. or uh, food restrictions. Uh, you can have 10 different things that you right. cannot eat and they can still manage to feed you. And you know what, that's as we talk about the chaos of today, the, 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 the kitchen staff kind of goes through the chaos three times a day. Yeah. Controlled chaos, control, good chaos. Controlled chaos. And here's the bottom line, as good as the food is, and I eat lunch here almost every day, as uh -huh. good as the food is, it's not mom's macaroni. Yeah. It'll never be home cooking as good as it is. Um, uh -huh. But what we say to mom and dad is come and have a meal and trust us when we tell you we're feeding them that's well. That's right, that's right. You know, because you figure it out and you go, all right, the freshman 15 times 1,500, I, I, I was told there would be no math in Foodie Friday, but that's a lot. That's the bottom line. So carbs are their friend this morning. This is our, our kind of our abridged version of Foodie Friday. Uh, we've got the food. It is Friday, so it meets the criteria. We're going to find out what it takes to feed these students as we get the class of 26 rolling here in New Haven. Guys, back to you. Foodie Friday and School Squad Week, it's like how peanut butter and chocolate came together for Reese's, right? Right? Hey, look at this. You know, little known fact, when I was in college, I was minoring in smoothie. I did research and development. Jermaine here is just in creation. Uh, look at this. They didn't have smoothies when we were in college. I don't think they had been invented yet. Jermaine, uh, you've uh, put the yogurt in there. Do me a favor. Hit me uh, with a couple of strawberries and uh, a little blueberry. That's just one of the things they do here at Alberta's Magnus to make all of their students feel at home. And, you know, this isn't your, your parents' school, or my school for that matter, because I'm old. They've got different options. They've got lots of things, lots of places to eat here on campus. And when you're serving 1,500 people, students, you better have a lot of options, right, Kat Heidel, the Director of Dining Services? That is correct, yeah, Matt. And that means, especially when in somebody these days Food allergies are a thing, uh, gluten-free lifestyles are a thing. You've got to cater to all of them. Yes, and um, I think we do a really good job of it here. Um, one thing that's unique to our campus is that we're so small, right. and uh, we don't really have a place to put a whole gluten-free station. Right. Uh -huh. So what I do is work with the students individually. Mm -hmm. They can go online, they can look at the menus. Good. If they see something that they don't like or they want something else or there's right. we have a day that there's no gluten-free options mm -hmm. they'll call me up and say cat can you make me a pizza sure. i'll be there at 11 20. So hold on one second i don't hear any blending germaine <laughs> seriously we're here at tab the little side grill this also turns into to a little nighttime late night space mm -hmm. but you've got some great sandwiches here what what do you got okay a lot of initials i noticed yes well what i did was i named the sandwiches from places on campus. Okay. 
So, so this is right to left. Go. This is the BCR. BCR is right behind you. Uh -huh. Bacon, ranch, and cheddar. cheddar. Right. This is the tag, uh -huh. which is another building on campus. Right. And that's turkey, apple smoked bacon. Did you minor in all this stuff? Because I don't think I could remember <laughs> this. All right, and quick, guacamole. Quickly. This is the uncommon brie. Oh, that's an uncommon brie. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. And that's brie, brie, ham, and apple. See? How are you? It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And yeah, so this Sienna. is Sienna, and, and that's uh, tomato mozzarella right, pesto. I already put my mitts on this one, so I'm going to go for this. Okay. Coming up next, we're going to really start to get into the the real thick of it here with the dining services upstairs. There, it's getting a little chaotic, and then it's got it because they've got 200 students coming in today, 1,500 total. That's a lot of sandwiches. Where's my smoothie? Cheese. He's he's slow. Come on, Jermaine, step up right there. Thank you, guys. This smoothie is for you. Back to you. Mm. Mm. You didn't spit in this, did you? No, sir. No. You know why, Symphony? Because he likes me. He likes me. Don't you forget oh, that. Get that man in <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Right. Well, we moved on. Uh, we're going to move on in a second. But we're, you know that 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 uh, Britney Spears, Elton John song. I love that. Hold me closer, to Tony Danza. It's a fantastic line. It's it's quite iconic. Look it up, Symphony. You'll know what I'm talking about. All right. We are here at. Uh, <laughs> We are here at Alberta's Magnus College. It is move-in day, and so we decided to merge our Fox 61 School Squad Week with Foodie Friday. We're checking out all the food at the various joints here at this uh, fine little college uh, right in the corner of uh, New Haven, right by East Rock. Uh, behind us is the coffee, here, I'll go this way, uh, is uh, one of the coffee bars they have here, and uh, it's quiet now because the students haven't, they, they haven't gotten their next cup of Joe to caffeinate themselves up as they go through all the moving, but they will, and the ladies are ready. Also ready is Kat Heidel of the uh, Dining Services. What's your title again? I'm the Director of Dining Services. That, that sounds about right. For okay. Chartwells. Not, okay, nice to see you. And, and before we go into what's going on here, you were telling me during all, and listen, this is a beautiful building. It's freshly renovated mm -hmm. right before uh, the pandemic started. You right. opened up. But while you were doing all the transitioning, was this really the main dining hall? It was. How this did was you do that? This was the seating area. Uh -huh. We had a trailer kitchen out back behind you. Wow. And then we tented right outside, uh -huh. and that was where they got the food, and they would come in here and eat it. I can't, and I love the fact that you were able to, 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 to supply 1,500 students on a daily basis out of a truck. Yes. Wow. That's a food truck on fun. steroids, right? <laughs> yeah. Talk to me about what we have here now in this little much quieter but much better, much easier space. There's we, no trucks. No. <laughs> we have a modified Starbucks. Uh -huh. It's called We Proudly Brew. Mm -hmm. um, we serve all the different Starbucks. Freddie, check out what they're, what, they're, what they're doing over there. They're hard at work and we're, we're just talking. Go ahead. Um, we have a supply of bakery items every day. Mm -hmm. We. We have sandwiches, uh -huh. salads, fruit. And most, of, most importantly, coffee, right? Absolutely. Lots of coffee. Lots of coffee. And, and you said Starbucks takes care of this. So, uh, they, you know, they, 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 they supply all the stuff, and you've mm -hmm. got the, the workers hard, hard at work uh, that have been trained to make the best lattes around. Best. Right? Best in New Haven. Clearly, because they're making me one right now. <laughs> when, uh, dare I ask how many cups of coffee or how many coffee beans this campus goes through? We go through about 150 coffees a day, uh -huh. so I don't know what that how many means. Bean, how many beans is that exactly? Well, within 10. A lot. Okay, that's a good answer. That, that's fine. All right, come on over here. Is, is, is the latte ready? Almost. We, we can kill time, so how are things with you? No, this is, it's great because if you think about it, think back to when, when we were in college, and especially, you know, and I'm not really talking to you, Symphony, uh, Tim and I, Back in the day, you wanted coffee, you had a little Mr. Coffee, and that was it. Now they have lattes and stuff and, and everything, and including this beautiful apple crisp latte. You got it for me? Yeah. Ready? All right, they're, they're working on 
<laughs> They're making sure it's perfect. Coming up, we talked about uh, 150 cups of coffee today. Wait till you see how many eggs, pancakes, lunches they do. We're going to go right into the, the heart of the beast and catch them in action at the dining hall. That's all coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. I'm waiting for my coffee, guys. Back to you. Yeah, you know what? It's it's funny you say that because they gave me a choice. They said, would you like something in a pumpkin spice? And I went, you know the music. Time once again for Foodie Friday. We are live, kind of doing it a little different this week because we're merging Foodie Friday with Fox 61 School Squad Week. And here we are at the dining hall of Alberta's Magnus College. Man, look at all the good food they have here. You know, you've heard of the freshman 15. That's important today because especially when they're making all these pancakes, and, and look at this, by the way. Look, check out this end. You talk about freshman 15. They're going to get some calories from these beautiful, look at those, s'mores pancakes. And the reason that we're here is because today is check-in day, move-in day. And it's move-in day for all the freshmen, all the students. But you also notice they've got vegan, vegetarian stuff. And that's important because, as Kat Heidel will tell you, you got to take care of 1,500 students with different dietary restrictions. That's not easy. That's correct. Mm -hmm. What do you do in terms of taking care of folks gluten-free, nut-free, stuff like that? We make sure everything's labeled mm -hmm. and um, we know most of the students who have restrictions sure. and so we can steer them to where they need to Absolutely. be. Absolutely. So dare I ask how many eggs you go through in a day here? A day, 200, 300 eggs, <laughs> 15 pounds of bacon. Uh -huh. I like the sound of that. <laughs> and now you're, you guys, you got Clarence back there. Mm -hmm. uh, turn the camera on Clarence. He's the real star of the show because uh, he's the one making all this stuff for breakfast, right? Right. Excellent. Clarence, you all right there? This is your 15 minutes of fame. All right, here's the best part. I, I was all set, Freddie, take a look at those one more time. I was all set to enjoy some s'mores pancakes, but unfortunately, the president of the school, Dr. Camille, said, you know what, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull, pull a fast one. Good luck, good luck to the year. There's Andrea, yeah. let them eat. Boy, better than mom, she said. I hope her mom's not watching. That's it from here. Listen, we had a lot of fun. Good luck, freshmen. And you know what, Tim and Symphony, 15, freshman 15 pound time, 1,500, that's like oh, 225, I don't know. It's a lot of pounds. It's a lot of pounds. They got to watch what they're eating here. Back to you. 